And uh, what we're looking at here is a little project I did for a, a customer of mine in Minnesota um, who, very loving father, right? Because he, uh, he wanted a knife made for each of his three sons for Christmas. So um, I'm going to try not to drag this out any longer than I normally do. You, you should know better than to like ask me a question unless you got time to hear the answer because it it just uh, it's just a, a character defect I have. I talk too much. Anyway, ask anybody; they'll tell you. The this guy um, asked for three knives for his each of his sons. He wanted them similar, but each uniquely its own. So. I had this idea what I would do is make a bar of single twist Damascus steel which I did you can uh, see that these are a single twist Damascus and like his three boys they all had one source you know their parents so what I did was I made a a bar of single twist Damascus, which you can actually see on my YouTube channel. I did a whole video of making a bar of single twist, and this is the source of this this steel. But like his sons, they're each uniquely different. So I made three knives out of the same bar of steel, and we have number one is a Brazilian cherry, which is not my favorite, but I'm telling you, this is the first time I've used it, and it is extraordinary. I just love everything about this. Um, really tough stuff. Yeah, I recommend it to other knife makers. I made another knife out of a really, really dark and lustrous. Uh, I think this is Missouri Walnut that I got from Dan Don Hansen. And this is a Black Ash Burl. Black Ash Burl that... Um, I got where I lived in Minnesota, uh, out in the, out in the sticks, man, dried it up, cut it up, stabilized it. So these are the three knives, similar yet, yet each different. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take one of these here and just do a quick demo on, on how my, these knives work. Each one of them has a finial that uh, I turned on a lathe and silver brazed in a stainless socket head cap screw and this is a this is something else I want to do is point out real quick that you might be able to this one doesn't but sometimes you might be able to pull off the guard in the handle and they would might stay connected if there's some restriction by the pins keeping them together but I would rather not pull them both off as one and then be removing the this the guard from the handle independently of the knife because if they were stuck and you're going sideways and sideways you might bend the pin you might fracture the side wall of the handle. I don't know. What I recommend is, and this is a really good fit on really good fit on this guard. What I recommend as far as disassembling a takedown knife from Anderson Forge is that you hold the knife in whatever your dominant hand is. Put your thumb against that guard while holding the spine of the blade in your opposing hand push against that guard, slide the handle off, then remove the guard. Anyway, that's that's how the takedown knife works at Anderson Forge. Everything's all steel construction. The finial goes into a stainless receiver in the butt. Um, you can... I don't think you'll have any complaints with the uh, the fit and finish of of my guards they're incredibly snug and I, I put a lot of t attention to detail into this fit on a takedown knife I want it to work right and be tight but depending on 
let's say I made this thing here in the in the summer hot and humid and sent to this guy in Minnesota this handle might actually move and if this handle wanted to move it's as simple as I mean I'm I'm not shy about cranking these things tight to be put into use loosen the finial give this handle just loosen it a little bit pop that open and when this thing's in storage that handle can just move freely and is never under any stress anyway here's our three knives black ash burl brazilian cherry and missouri walnut for three i hope deserving sons who've been good all year um, they're all adults anyway so let's let's hope they're being good and Merry Christmas to everybody, and I hope you enjoy the three knives as much as they do. Happy New Year.